Hello everyone, it's Jaron Bracken with NCSI here again to share with you another new Neurons update. Today I'm going to talk about the new patch management. So if I go to my patch settings, I'm going to click on a patch policy here. The screen will now look different. As of the August 2024.3 release, we've added these three new agent behaviors. Routine maintenance, priority updates, and zero day response. So let's go click on routine maintenance and configure this task. All right, so I like to run on reboot if schedule's missed. Um, let's say that I'm going off of a patch Tuesday, uh, you know, plus three days or something like that. Um, deploying at 12 a.m. or, you know, 12 p.m., whatever you prefer. Staging the content, totally up to you as well. But let's say, well, I want to install these patches, but I only want to do, you know, critical, important, and moderates on the securities and non-security, critical, important, and moderate as well. Um, I'm going to have my excluded patches group. I have a group called excluded patches. If my patches meet my criteria, but I don't want them to install, I throw them in there so that they won't. And then if I come down here, I can look at my patch selections. And this is Patch Tuesday, so you can see I have exclusively selected Microsoft products, which generally adhere to Patch Tuesday. You do get some outside of that time, and you're you know welcome to take care of those, and I'll show you how to do that in another schedule. All right, so that's all I've done here. You have a reboot after deployment, totally up to you, but that's it. That is my routine maintenance. Now I'm going to go to priority updates, turn that on, and configure this task. What if I want it to run, you know, weekly or even daily, I can do so. Well, let's say daily and again, let's change it to, you know, a time of day when computers are going to be on and reboot, run on reboot if schedule is missed and staging and all that fun stuff. So here I'm going to be a little less stringent. I'm going to do any security and any non-security patch, regardless of severity. I'm going to keep my excluded patches though, because I don't want to install patches if they're in that excluded group. And then if I look down here into my list of, but only for selected vendors and products, you can see that I've selected things that require rapid patching. Chrome, for example, can release weekly, sometimes more than weekly. Um, we witnessed that a little bit earlier this year in 2024, um, July, I believe. So that might be a good one to have in there daily. I also have Edge because it's built off of Chromium as well. So it also requires pretty frequent updates. And then scrolling down, I also have Firefox here. So this is just an example. Of course, you can set these to be whatever you want. But the point is, I am able to have these settings be separate and their timing be separate or the recurrence being different than my routine maintenance. All right, well, what about this third one here, this zero, zero day response? Well, let's say there was a patch that was released for, you know, this will age me a little bit, but, uh, you know, back with Heartbleed. <laughs> Um, we want that patch installed immediately. So I'm going to say, okay, I want to run this on reboot. I don't care about staging. I just want it installed as quickly as possible. Um, it's 340 currently where I'm at. So if I tell this to run at four and I only choose my, my patch out of my list. So, uh, you know, let's, let's pretend for, for now that this production patches is my zero day patch. I've, I've thrown it in there, uh, because I know exactly what patch it is. I know exactly where I want it installed. I don't need to worry about anything else, no vendors, no severities. I, I really just want to install whatever my whatever my zero day patch is here. I can do that. And now this will run at 4 p.m. So I can't hit go now on everything at once, but I can line it up so that things will happen, you know, within 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do that, hit that uh, back button there. And that's how you would run each of these three individual schedules inside of your patch settings. This setting is now applied to a single patch, or excuse me, a single agent policy, but I can run three independent patch scans, uh, completely independent days. You know, this one is monthly, this one's daily, this can, one, this can be daily as well. Um, but when I'm done with zero day, I'll of course turn it off. And I can use this to patch on a more granular basis to meet my needs rather than waiting, you know, once a month to patch Chrome or installing Microsoft patches daily. I'm able to be a little more flexible and have that built in so I can just install the stuff that I want on a daily basis and install the other things on a monthly basis and then also do a response to an emerging threat. So 
this is uh, how you set this up. You can save this, make it active, and immediately your agents will start using this. I recommend doing that. Uh, I know with uh, Chrome and Firefox and Edge, they like their updates, so you can start there. But of course, it is entirely up to you what you patch and when you do it. But now you know how to utilize these three separate schedules in your patch settings. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, please like and subscribe. I produce a video about once a month, either on Neurons or Avanti Endpoint Manager or Avanti Workspace Manager, some Avanti product. I produce a video about once a month on that, sometimes more. And here in the near future, we'll have some exciting videos about upgrading Windows 11 via Neurons as Windows 10 is shortly becoming end of life. All right, thank you for joining. Hope you have a great day.